Praise the Lord! And welcome to In Times Like These broadcast with Suffragan Bishop Lavelton J. Daniel. This worship experience emanates from the Sanctuary of Greater Emmanuel Apostolic Temple in Cincinnati, Ohio, where the Word is preached and souls are reached. Thank you for joining us today. Stay tuned for ministry through music, a life-changing message that will perfect you on purpose. Share this broadcast, start a watch party, and tell someone that the community of Greater is on the air. Now let's hear more from our senior servant pastor, Suffragan Bishop Lavelton J. Daniel. This is Pastor Lavelton Daniel, and we're in the sanctuary of the Greater Emmanuel Apostolic Temple here in Cincinnati, Ohio. I greet all of you in the precious name of the Lord Jesus. And uh, you know he's our soon coming king, and we are here to introduce a new a social media ministry to you. I want to welcome all of you to the late afternoon delight as we proclaim a tremendous time of turnaround. Amen, amen. Look, our, the Ministerial Alliance from Greater Emmanuel will be coming on with an exciting ministry that will have a turnaround. Our scripture here, delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart from Psalms 37 and 4. Over 40 years ago, Lady Trish and I used that scripture for our marriage theme, our wedding theme. And you know what? We were delighting ourselves in the Lord because we wanted God to give us the desires of our heart. We've had a turnaround on that. Down through the years now, we delight ourselves in the Lord. And guess what? He's giving our heart what it should desire in the first place. That's a turnaround. And these great ministers here will be bringing some turnaround for you in the next half an hour to 45 minutes. Isaiah 58, 14 says, Then shall thy delight thyself in the Lord, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth, and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Listen at this spoken word, and watch God delight and raise you up, hallelujah, in the things of the kingdom. God bless you. Stay tuned and be blessed. Praise the Lord. Uh, let's give honor where the honor is due. Uh, again, honor to my pastor and first lady for giving me this opportunity to come up before you in Jesus' name. But most of all, I want to tell you, I want to give honor to the head of my life, my Savior, my Lord, my Master, Jesus Christ. Because without him, what would I be? Where would I be? How could I be? Thank God. Now, to our pastors, to the elders, to the ministers, to the mothers, to the deacon, deaconess, trustees, new saints, middle age saints, John saints, I reach, reach you all in the name of Jesus. Uh, we here now, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited because God has given me a word to give to you. Um, today, the message is normal in Christ Jesus. Normal in Christ Jesus. Now stay with me. We're going to put this all together. We're going to praise God. But before we do, let's bow our heads and have word of God. Word to God. Hey, Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you for what you did, what you're doing, what you're going to do. We thank you, Lord, for your mercy, grace, for your blood, and most of all, what you didn't count for our sins. Hallelujah. Lord God, we ask right now, touch the hearts, give us what we need, let your word go forth, let it not return void, let it do what it's supposed to do. Have your way now in this service and forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Now, turn with me to Titus, third chapter, third verse. And it says, For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving divers lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, 
hateful and hating one another. Now remember, we said no more in Jesus Christ. Let's go to the Father. Now, hold on, let me, let me stop. That is the world normal. The world is trying to seek a new normal, as they say. The normal they want to do is like we was, disobedient, hater. We, we serve different pleasures, different lusts. You know, we stole, we lied, we murdered. We did wrong, we, we hated people. You know, people was sinning, gay, whatever line, whatever it was. That's the normal that the world's trying to get back to. We want things to continue as they once was. You kill my dog, I kill your cat. All right? You punch me, I'll punch you back. That's the world normal. The world's seeking these things to be normal. But let's learn a little more. Let's go 2 Corinthians, the fifth chapter. And the 15th verse. And it says, And he that died for all, Jesus Christ, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them and rose again. Hallelujah. Right there it tells you what we're supposed to be doing. Living for God. Doing the things of God. Being what God wants us to be. Being what we should be. Loving each other. Helping each other. Blessing each other. Praying for one another. We should be doing these things. Now, if I ask this question, should we not do this thing? We should. We should be living unto God more than unto ourselves. But the world don't want you to do it. The world wants you to Let's do what we've been doing. Let's be hateful. Let's be mean. Let's be dogmatic. Let's be hateful. That's the ways of the world, though. But 1 Peter 1 6 tells us, be holy, for I am holy. So we should be like God, people. Micaiah 6 8, it tells us, and it says, He has shown thee, O man, what do require of thee to do justly, love mercy, mercy, and walk humbly with thy God. There it is again. We're talking about the thing is God. Okay, now, this is what I want to share with y'all. There is nothing new under the sun. The Bible says that. Jesus Christ, the same today, Yesterday and forevermore. Wait a minute, wait a minute. If that's true, then why am I trying to seek something new and different? I'm not supposed to be seeking that. My normal is in Jesus Christ. My stability is in Jesus Christ. I'm not supposed to seek the thing in this world. I'm supposed to wear the world a loose garment. I'm in the world, but not other world. No. This is not my home. This is, I'm going somewhere else. So, let's, 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 let's talk about some things that we should be going. Let's know. It's normal for you to love right, talk right, live right. It's normal for you to trust on God's word. It's normal for you to keep your eyes on Jesus. It's normal for us to depend on him, to trust him, to live God, to believe in God, have faith in God, that's normal. It's normal for us to read our Bible. It's normal for us to pray. It's normal for us to come to church. Well, you can't do it right now, but watch it if you can on Facebook. It is normal for us to worship God, to praise God, to give our offerings and tithe to fast as we can. That's normal. We are supposed to do the things of Jesus Christ more so than looking at the things of the world. Because we shouldn't be looking at vaccinations. We shouldn't be looking at who is in the office. We shouldn't be looking at social 
justice, all this marching protests. No, we're supposed to be doing the things of God. I do believe that God made this time especially for us to make our call and to show with him. Now, we have no other place to look but up to him to do the things that he requires, do the things that he wants to do. Look, I don't care we ever get back to whatever call. To, no. My name is in Jesus Christ. I'm trying to do the things of Jesus Christ. I'm trying to be, make my self a candidate for heaven. How can I do that? Look at what's going on in the world. We so look, even the church today, we talk about Trump, what he's crazy, uh Biden. Forget Trump. It doesn't matter what office. Jesus is saying, look unto me. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God's righteousness. I was thinking about it to you. Okay, seek, think, seek God and God's kingdom first. Why? Because you're still supposed to be living holy. You're still supposed to be blessing people. You're still supposed to be praising people. You're still supposed to be witness to people. You're still supposed to be living for Christ. You're still supposed to be doing what you need to do. That is why humbly with your God. Follow him, loving him, blessing his name, being thankful, being grateful. Now, in the Bible study that we had this past Wednesday, Elder Tubbs told us about the kings. But important, more importantly, he said the kings are distractions. And that's what it is. All this stuff just gets you off center. Did you worry about COVID-19? God is bigger than COVID-19. He's bigger than the White House. He's bigger than your problems. He's bigger than your situations. Look, I'm looking unto Jesus. I'm looking unto the hills when we come out. I'm going to come from the Lord. I need him every day. I need him every minute. I need him every second to help me through this journey called life. I can't do this journey without the Lord's help. So why am I looking at other things in the world? The Bible tells things that you see are temporal. Things you don't see are eternal. Get your eyes on things that are eternal. Get your eyes off of what's going on in the world today. It don't matter. People, look, people, if you notice, they want to hear from the governor, from the president, from doctors, from athletes, everybody, but you don't want to hear from God. God is the solution and He's the answer. But the world wants that. We want to hear we got some vaccination coming two months from now. We want to hear uh, COVID is going away. We want to hear uh, we better gather again. Why? Is that your goal? We are in Christ Jesus. We're not of the world, people. So forget about the world, the world things. Yes, you got to work with your job. Yes, you got to work with your car, your family, and stuff like that. That's okay. But don't make those things first. Look, God, I'm taking this medicine, but I'm trusting and believing in you. God, I'm having this surgery. But I'm trusting and believing in you. God, I'm broke, don't have no food, but I'm trusting and believing in you. God, I'm doing my job. I'm trusting and believing in you. Because you are my provider. You are my way maker. You are my keeper. You are the lover of my soul. You help me. You keep me. You save me. You bless me. I got to praise you. I got to glorify you. I got to give you honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I love you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You're still the best thing that ever happened to me in this world. Hallelujah. Don't matter what you're going through. Don't matter what's happening in the world. Don't matter what's going on. Around. The world trying to get back to a new normal. They say, but the new normal is going to get back to our whole way. Doing things we've been doing. Look, and then some people say this, y'all. I don't want to have 
500 people in my house. I have 500 people in my house. Now, the governor and medical people telling you separate, but the people are still saying, I'm going to do what I want to do. That's the world. That's what they're, they're selfish, self centered, and they're not against us. But in God, you're blessed, you're saved, you're kept, you're helped, you're strengthened, you're loved, you have peace, you have joy. Woo! Miracles, blessing, because I got my eyes on Jesus. Not on the things in the world, but my eyes on you, Lord. My normalcy come from God. My stability come from God. He is the rock I'm standing on. He is my heart fixer, mind regulator, way maker, burden bearer. He will keep me. He will deliver me. He will help me. He will save me. He will love me. He will. He will do what his word said. Yeah, we're all going through this, but God is still in control. People in the world are fearful, scared, worried. We shouldn't be. We know where our rock and where our heart is. It's with God. If God has your heart, He got you got to know He's gonna take care of you. If God has your heart, He gonna bless you. If God has your heart, He gonna give you miracles. If God has your heart, He gonna keep you. If God has your heart first. Now, we know a lot of distractions in the world. And this is what blew up my mind. We're going through this. We know what the biggest thing on TV is? The mad singer. <laughs> Who behind this mad? What? People are dying. The world, COVID-19, earthquakes, hurricanes. All that. But we want to know who's behind the mask. That's the world. You do not want to get with the world. You need to get with God. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you, let's go, let's go here. Luke 20 and 38. It says something very good. Now, yeah, God, we know God can take a death and make it alive. We know God will do the impossible. But look, God don't deal with dead things. If you want to be dead, God trying to make you alive. God can let you stay dead because you want to be dead. He's not going to force you. If you want to walk this walk, live this way, then he will help you do it. But if you don't, he's going to say, okay. It says this, for he is not the God of the dead, but of the living. For all live unto him. We're living to live again. We are a lot of these stones. We are the apple of God's eye. Because we're alive in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I love you. Thank you, Jesus. Look, I don't hate to bust your bubble, but there is no normal to get back to. <laughs> There's no new normal to get to. <laughs> it's over. If you're looking for a new normal, you're, you're, you're mistaken. You're missing a boat. Jesus Christ is saying today, yesterday, and forevermore. So he is my normal. He is my way. He is my light. He is the keeper of my soul. He is worthy of praise. He is worthy of serving him. He is worthy for you to go through your loss, whatever it is. He's worthy because he's good. The world, look, this is the world normal. The world normal say we want to keep our business open. We want movies. We want, we want music park, sports. We want everything like you was before. But, you know, things can't be like you was before. So that, but they're trying to get back. That's like normal. I'm not, I'm not looking for basketball, football game, baseball games. I'm not looking for new movies. I'm not looking for a park, amusement parks. I'm not looking for anything, no new music. I'm looking for God. I've come to, I want to experience him in the beauty of his holiness. Even though I'm going through it, 
He will provide for me. He will keep me. He will help me. He will strengthen me. So take my eyes off of this world things and keep them on Jesus. Keep your eye on Jesus, you'll stay saved. Keep your eye on Jesus, you'll be blessed. Keep your eye on Jesus, you'll be what he wants you to be. Keep your eye on Jesus, he'll bring you through. Keep your eye on Jesus, he'll make a way. That's my normal. My normal is Jesus Christ. It's not a new normal I'm trying to get. What, what, what's this new normal? The Bible says there's nothing new under the sun. So the new normal I'm trying to get to don't even exist. <laughs> but the world got all kinds of distractions. They got all kinds of things to get you off of being saved, get you off from doing things what you're supposed to do. Still, we can't go to church like we want to, but you can still read your Bible, pray, praise God, magnify his name, pay your tithe offering, give him glory, thank him, bless his name, worship him. You can still do these things. Lord, we ain't going to church. I can't do it. No, no, no. That don't excuse you from living a holy life. We are all commanded to do the things of God, to be what God wants us to be. We are not our own. God died for each and every one of us. So I'm required. I must do what he said to do. I got to love my brother. I got to forgive people. I got to keep my eyes on Jesus. Look, if I'm making it in, I got to know who is my savior. I got to have the right leadership, the right fellowship. Look, if I don't do things, God, you think you're going to heaven? I don't think so. This is real. Do the things of God. Forget this normal. The normal is in Jesus Christ. That's your normal. The one who died for you. That's your normal. The one telling you how to live. That's your normal. The one left this word. That's your normal. The one who knows all. That's your normal. The one who can do all. That's your normal. My normal is not in the world. And you know, and Ms. And L. Tull was just talking to me. He walked down to see her, and they, and, and, and council men dropped like flies. <laughs> and he said, wow, well, you know, who's next? <laughs> we don't know, but see, that's the world. People don't have a bad interest at heart. People out for themselves. People don't care about you, but God cares about you. God loves you. God wants the best for you. God wants to bless you. So we keep looking to him. Like I said, Jesus Christ is saying today, yesterday, and forevermore. Do the things of Christ. Live God's way. Be godly. If Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore, then it's normal for me to do things of Christ. Because he's always, he already set the stage, he already set the course. He already put in place what I need to do. That's my normal. Now I used to, now I read for Titus 3, we used to be just being in, we used to be different, we used to love different things, we used to be hated, liars, killers, whatever. But now we're supposed to do a new thing, a new way. And that's being normal in Jesus Christ. Look, God, like I said to you earlier, God is bigger than COVID-19. He's bigger than the riots. He's bigger than whatever problem you have, bigger than inflation. He's bigger than the vaccination. If you prepare a vaccination, look, do you think a mask, washing your hands, wearing gloves to keep you from COVID-19? Not so. It's the grace and mercy of God that we don't have COVID-19. It's for frontline workers, doctors, a lot of people died, but you haven't gone down with COVID 19? And because of God, and because of your mask. No, 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 no. Mm. But God be the glory. The only normal thing is to do, God, do and live God's way. That's the only thing for us. That's our normal. Let me tell you, let me read it right quick. 
we talk about the light. Psalms 119, says, I will delight myself in thy statutes, in his laws and commandments. I will not forget thy word. Now, if you keep God's commandments, God's laws, statutes in you, and you be godly, you know I'm going to delight yourself in the Lord, but God can delight in you because you're doing the things he wants you to do. That's my son. That's my daughter. They love me. They're keeping my word. They're walking the way I was them walk in spite of what's coming on them, in spite of what's happening, in spite of how they feel. They still want to be with me in heaven. I love them. You know, one more time, there's no new normal to get to. Only normal seat is in Jesus Christ. My identity is in Christ Jesus because I am a child of God. I do the things of God. I believe God's way. I live God's way. I trust God's way. I depend on God's way. I have faith in God's way. I love God's way. That's where my normal is. It's in Jesus Christ. So let's be normal. Let's live God's way. Let's have right relationship, right fellowship, and let's do the things of God. Remember, normal is in Jesus Christ. God bless. Grace and peace, everyone. Please listen accordingly to our exciting events at Greater Emmanuel. Join us every Sunday at 11 o'clock a.m. for our Sunday morning worship experience via Facebook Live. We are also on YouTube. We encourage those of you who live in Cincinnati to join us physically. Late Afternoon Delight, featuring our dynamic ministers of Greater Emmanuel, 5 o'clock p.m. via Facebook. On Mondays, we have Motivational Monday Moment with yours truly, Pastor Trish, 1 o'clock p.m. If you missed that, you can go to our Facebook page and you can view it at any time. We have Men's Ministry Prayer, 8 o'clock p.m. via Zoom. On Wednesdays, our pastor has an exciting broadcast back on the road again, 5 o'clock p.m. via Facebook Live, as well as Bible Class, 7 o'clock p.m. On Thursday, View Pastor Daniel again, Oh, Taste and See, 11 o'clock a.m., Facebook Live. Then tune in to our live Throwback Thursdays. It airs at 1 o'clock p.m., but again, if you missed this exciting recording, go to our Facebook page. You can view any of our services at any time. On Saturday, Sunrise Prayer, 7 o'clock a.m., via our church conference call number, you know that the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. And exciting Christian education for all ages. For adults on Sundays, 9.30 a.m. via Zoom. For our young adults on Saturdays, 1 o'clock p.m. via Zoom. Our grief support is aired every third Saturday at 11 o'clock a.m. via Facebook Live. We have licensed counselors and presenters to join us for our monthly grief support. For more amazing content from the community of Greater, connect with us on all social media platforms, YouTube at Emmanuel Broadcast and on our website, www.geat1150.org. Stay rapture ready and have a wonderful week. Blessings to everyone. What a time, what a time, what a time. You've just finished that late afternoon delight, but stay tuned next week. Another minister from this house. Sometimes we may have a guest who'll be coming in for another late afternoon delight. Be blessed. Let God cause you to ride upon the high places of the earth as you embrace this word of God. We love you all in Jesus' name.